are at Yasham Cafe. It's the vegan cafe in Al Sanjak. Hey, Nabil. Hey, They literally just opened. I think we're like the first people here. So, they've got the breakfast plate, which is like tomatoes, cucumbers. I don't know, I might get that because it is kind of breakfast time. Okay guys, so this is the vegan breakfast. It's kind of like, it's pretty traditional, right? Do you think it's traditional? Okay, so we have cucumbers, carrots, walnuts, vegan sujuk, potatoes, vegan cheese, burdock, lettuce, tomatoes, olives, and cucumbers. So that's like a really traditional Turkish breakfast at the vegan cafe. Okay guys, currently playing chess and I'm kind of getting my ass kicked, so wish me luck. We just got some like traditional baklava, but it's vegan so it has no butter. And then we got a bamba, which is special for Izmir. Uh, so it's filled with like Nutella, chocolate, everything. Yeah, it's so sweet. But it's so good. And we continue our chess game. We just got some Starbucks. It is so crowded here. And actually, oh, holy shit, it's so crowded at Starbucks today. Yes, my hair is purple. We're just gonna pretend like my hair is not fucking purple. I accidentally dyed it. But I think we have a plan to go to. Where are we going? Kessel. Kadife Kessel. Kadife Kale, which, but, but. <laughs> dangerous place. <laughs> From what I've heard, this place is kind of dangerous, but for some reason, we're gonna go check out a castle and get out of the crowded city. Kadife Kale. Yes. Why are we going to Kadife Kale? To see the castle. Castle! I've never seen Kadife Kale. Do you remember I said that this looks like Area 51? We're in Alsanjak. It's like a football stadium. I said that looked like Area 51. I, st I stand by that statement. Okay, so we just entered the Kadife Kale and that's the like entrance and inside is so big they have all these like I don't know carpets and little shops set up. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Should totally check out over there. <laughs> okay guys, uh, we just climbed to like part of the tower and we got this sweet panoramic view of the city. To be perfectly honest, Kadife Kale is not the safest neighborhood to go to and I definitely would not recommend going there alone and like without a car. If you don't have a car, don't go to Kadefe Kale. Like, just, yeah, if just... you have a car, you shouldn't go like anywhere. It was really like, we just went in and went out really quickly, so. Hey guys, so it is currently Monday. Holy shit, that took me a while. It's Monday, that's right, it's Monday today. It's so like rainy and dreary outside, like ugh. I just don't even want to do anything. I'm literally like cleaning up my messy ass room and bleh. I just went out to get Starbucks because my French press broke. And I am currently 
boiling some water and I'm gonna make some soup you guys I will show you I'm just gonna make this soup um, it's called Ezo gallon and it's like my favorite so I'm gonna show you how I make it it's really easy okay guys so the water is boiling I'm just going to add a little bit of salt you know like soup like it has to be salty otherwise it tastes like shit then we've got this it's literally just lentils rice and bulgur Let's throw that in and then I'm gonna put like a big scoop of this in you can use tomato paste but I prefer to use um, red pepper paste because red peppers are my favorite food friggin ever I can eat them all the time okay and just mix that and then I'm gonna set the heat down on like a lower setting and I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil and you guys that's literally it I will show you the end result it's so easy okay guys I'm literally just gonna add these spices in these are the spices I told you about so there's that and then mix it so I'm just gonna cook it like maybe two three minutes and that's it. It's literally done after that. Okay, you can see this is how the soup turned out. So I'm just gonna eat that, and I just painted my nails actually. Really shitty job, but eh, whatever. And I'm actually uploading the Q&A video right now, so that should hopefully be up soon. And yeah, that's what I'm up to, guys. Hi hey guys, good morning! Today is Wednesday. <sighs> I'm just walking through my neighborhood. Sorry it's so loud, I'm like right on the main street. But I live in Hatai, so I will show you guys the neighborhood. I am just going to get a coffee right now. I told you guys my French press broke last week, and I totally, like, I need a coffee. I just need a coffee! So I'm gonna go to Starbucks and also I need to go to Rossman. I need to buy some mascara and some laundry detergent. So yeah, I will take you guys with me and I will show you my neighborhood. Ah, guys, I found this shampoo. Oh my God, it smells friggin' amazing. It's vegan and it smells like coconut oil. So it's on sale. It was like 50 and it's only 35 now. Just still a little expensive, but I'm gonna get that. Now I'm going to Rossman. We don't have this in the US also, but this is like a German store, which I really like. Ah, look, this is the um, detergent that I buy. I'm gonna buy some now and it's on sale. Haha. <laughs> Um, it's like plant-based and it doesn't have a lot of chemicals, so I really love it. I totally suggest you get it. Guys, this is the mascara that I always use. I just buy this one. It's like 20 bucks, so, and it works really well. And as far as I know, it's cruelty-free and vegan, so good one. Okay, I'm also going to get some makeup wipe remover because I'm so lazy nowadays. You guys, these are also on sale, these toothbrushes. Um, they are vegan and cruelty-free, and it comes with a biodegradable toothbrush and also a mini toothpaste, and it's on sale. It's only 10 bucks. Usually these are so expensive, I always buy these. So these are on sale, you should get one now. Yeah, you guys, I bought so much stuff. I only meant to buy mascara and laundry detergent. And instead, I bought so much stuff. By the way, I always reuse these bags. We use these for trash, so I'm not wasting plastic, just so you know. Anyway, all right, I am just coming to Starbucks. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, the hills, this is all like, these hills are just crazy, like in Hatai. It's all like this. It's all hills everywhere. Like, damn, I, <laughs> I walk to the metro and I feel like I've done CrossFit. Not really, I'm not really that out of shape, but like, you know what I mean.
guys, good morning. Today is Thursday. I just came to Konak from Hatay and I'm gonna take the ferry boat to Bostanla so I can go to the hairdresser and get my hair done finally. <sighs> it's kind of cold today, but I just wanted to show you guys some historical places in Konak really quickly. Okay guys, so this is the Konak clock tower and it's just a very historical, touristic um, site. A lot of people come to see it from different cities, different countries. And then behind it, you'll see the Konak Mosque. And I'll show you guys these more in detail in another vlog, but just for now, I just quickly wanted to show you. I totally suggest you go there. It's my favorite, especially if you're going blonde. They did such an amazing job. They also, they asked me, <laughs> I said this in my last vlog too, the guy asked me, he's like, um, do you mind if I take a video of you for my Instagram? And I was like, sure, no problem. He's like, can we just put a little, a little light makeup on you? Light look, look what Guys, they did this makeup to me. Look at this makeup. I mean, they did a nice job, but light? Does this look light? They put freckles. They drew freckles on my face. Look at this. She did a really nice job. It's just different than I would normally wear. So to me, this doesn't feel light. I, I don't even like recognize myself, but I think he got his Instagram video. Anyway guys, I think I am just gonna go to Alsan Jack now. I like ran to the ferry boat, but I might end this vlog here because it's getting a little bit long and boring. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. All right guys, have a good day, bye.